Hey, what's going on, y'all? Okay, so it is super windy out here. We are getting ready to take the kayaks out for the first time. Kind of windy for the first day taking the kayaks out, but they'll do fine. Are you guys excited? Yeah, I'm yeah. really excited. Ezra's figuring out his paddle, which oh, needs to go the other way around. Flips this way. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yep. You got it. All right, so we are going to go out here. This is Lake Sutton, and I know it's really, really windy and choppy, but it'll be all right. See how shallow it is? They're fishing right there. Anyway, we're going to get on the water. I'm going to launch them first, and then I'll get out there. Super proud of you, buddy. You're just like a natural born kayaker. You're just getting it done. Yep. <laughs> Put your legs straight, baby. This kayak is not as wide as ours. Right. So it's just not made for something like. We need to get him a 10 footer. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Hi, Bobby. Don't eat bumper boats. Be careful. Ah, hey. Yeah, yours is, um, no, you're going to fall. You need to sit right in the middle, kid. Right in the middle. She's taller than both Can I get her? <laughs> well, let's sell his and then get him a regular kayak. How much you get? 100 bucks. Oh, well, about 90 bucks. Used, used, used once. You're yeah. doing really good. Just don't tip, okay? Well, you're, you're Got one. Oh, jeez. I did. It's a good one. Good fish. Wow. Thank you. All right. Well, I am towing Ezra back there and I got to go back over to Jesse because somebody foul hooked a bass and it is alive and I need to get the hook out of its mouth. I got, I'll, I'm coming, I'll get it out. I'll get it. Somebody probably just cut the line because they were too, because they were too lazy and didn't get the hook out. Is there a line? Can you see the hook? Well, don't let them swallow the hook. It'll, it'll keep sucking it down. This is gonna be interesting. Yeah, it's so it bleeding enough. pretty good. Okay. 
so it needs hook needs brought down into it like this mm -hmm. so you bring the hook straight like that oh okay i was trying not to pull on it because i knew i couldn't get it awesome poor baby look this is what was in its throat on that hook my god hey what's going on y'all okay so i I didn't want to get all preachy, but this really, really irritated me today. So you saw that it was it, before she was spawned out. I bet you she would have gone like six and a half, seven pound bass that Jesse was trying to resuscitate. This was in her gullet. It's like a one aught Gamagatsu EWG plastic worm hook. This was the worm that they had. It's like a June bug. Is that June bug? It's a black and blue. Sanko, five inch. Anyway, it's a it's a black and blue Sanko, and they had it wacky rigged. There's the O ring, so they had this wacky rigged on this, which I mean is fine, but it actually works better if you go get the wacky rig hooks. Gamagatsu makes them. That's what I usually use. They have the little weed guard on them that you trim like that, right to the tip of the hook those work way better for wacky rig the falls better than this i mean if you're not utilizing the um, texas rig which is what this was meant for there's no point in having this on there but this shouldn't have been left inside the fish's gullet so they cut the line right here you can see where they cut the line so what they did was they couldn't get it out and they just cut the line off don't do that there is such an easy way i have never had a fish where i couldn't get the hook out of it it's all the way down i don't care as long as that much is showing or even if just the line's sticking up all you got to do gently is pull like that and it will actually come out enough their their stomach you know the the lining in their esophagus will come out enough that you can pull that hook out enough that you can bend it down like this make sure that the line if you can't do it with the line on it cut the line as long as you have enough to pull and then make sure you sometimes you have to cut this out doesn't matter no fish's life is worth you saving a plastic worm period so i know i'm, I'm irritated and y'all don't usually see me like this but ugh the the hook they it's could you imagine passing that through your intestines i mean i wouldn't want to do it that's ridiculous all you have to do is take that hook reach up under the gill plate be real careful but reach up under the gill plate and turn the hook like this okay at that point when you turn it down in there the hook is like this all you do, bring your pliers down in, grab right here, pull it right out. And make sure you dunk the fish every once in a while because that allows the um, oxygen to pass over the gills and the water will cauterize the, the wound because guaranteed they're gonna be bleeding some. I mean, I, every single one doesn't bleed, but anyway, that's it. That's all my preaching for today. Just do that. Get the worm out of the way. No worm is worth a fish's life and then turn the hook pull the hook out the hook is like this gill plate turn it come back around grab the hook straight out that's all there is to it but um that's it for the preaching we'll go to the outro now i actually did the outro when we left the lake but this was bothering me so bad this was bothering me bad enough that i saved it be it just mm. But anyway, there's another big bass gone because somebody was too lazy. Or maybe they didn't know how. It's possible, but hopefully they watch this video or maybe y'all can pass it along and save a fish's life. But on to the outro. All right, y'all. That's it. We are all loaded up and we're headed home. Are you have fun? Yep.
Yeah. Ezra did a really good job. Jonas did a really good job, except for he wouldn't wait for anybody else, so we had to keep getting on him. But he'll learn. But Ezra did a really good job. We're actually going to get him a 10 footer. That I thought that six and a half footer would be perfect for him, but it's just too wishy washy. So, um, and it was really wavy out there today. Really windy, really wavy. I ended up uh, towing him most of the time, so not a big deal. But anyway, I hope y'all really enjoyed the video. We caught a huge bass. That was a big bass. I'm excited about that. But um, I need to drive, so I'm going to get off of here. I appreciate y'all watching. Make sure that you hit the like button if you like the video. Make sure that you comment if you have one, because I know you do. Make sure that you share the video out, please, and make sure you subscribe. Take care. Take care.